Hello, I'm Eric Houston, and welcome to In Focus. This month, we'll be focusing in on our brand new game show, How Old Celebrity Edition. How old is the game of celebrity birthdays? In it, host Ben Hale and MC Danica Peterson quiz contestants by asking them how old a given celebrity is. The other contestant guesses whether they think the celebrity is actually older or younger. Let's take a look at a clip from the first episode. Here. Players, are you ready? Yep. I'm, I'm ready. ready. All right. Now we flipped a coin before the match and Terry won and he'll have first option. So Terry, you will be giving me the age. Laura, you will then give me younger or older. Are we set to begin How Old Celebrity Edition? Yep. We're going to begin today with actor, heartthrob, Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio. I need an age, Terry. Um, 42. 42. 42 is on the table. 42 is on the table, Laura, for Leonardo DiCaprio. Your question now, younger or older? Younger. Younger is correct. That's one point right here. Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio has recently turned 37. 37 years he old. He should be for, 42. For Leonardo DiCaprio. He should be 30. <laughs> has he been in enough movies and you've seen him that much? So I you think feel so, like yeah. he should be older. That's All right. right. Well, Laura, it's now your opportunity. You have the lead, and now you're going to be going first on this question here. I need an age for actor, talk show host, comedian, and center square, Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi Ooh. Goldberg. She likes her game shows, let me tell you. Whoopi Goldberg. What do you got for me? What do you got for me on Whoopi Goldberg? The whoopster, if you will. 54. <laughs> 54 is the guess. 54 on the table, Terry. Now, younger or older? Whoopi Goldberg. What do you got for I'm me? I'm going to say older. You're going to say older, and you know what? You're correct, sir. Whoopi Yay! Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg is 56. Oh. 56 years old. Close oh, there, Oh, it makes Laura. me feel younger. She's older than me. We got a point of peace here, folks. It's a tight match early on. Let's go on. All right, so that was How Old, and I'm here with Ben and Danica, our host and MC and judge for the show, and also the hosts of our news show, NMTV News, over on Channel 15. How are you guys doing tonight? Doing fine. Pretty good. Good. So, of course, we're here tonight to talk about How Old, our brand new game show, which debuted on Channel 14 in November. We have a new episode coming up, or just aired in December here. Another one coming up in January. Uh, but this is a show that we kind of created together. So why don't we talk, uh, let's start by talking about how, how did we come up with it. Hmm. Do you want to go first? Sure. Uh, every day at lunch, usually the three of us play silly lunch games, especially if it's a Friday. Uh, usually they involve uh, quizzes that are in the newspaper, or quite typically they involve the celebrity birthday section. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ben would quiz both of us as right. to how old a celebrity was. Mm -hmm. And we'd get a little into it, but we didn't realize that it could be anything at all until our coworkers would walk by at lunch, getting their lunch, <laughs> heat that up, and be like, oh, wait, oh, he's older than that. Or no, no, because he was in high school when I was in elementary mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. So it just sort of sprang out of, uh, I would say, a lunch game. Yeah. Yeah, and, I, uh, and uh, part of the reason I started. Uh, calling out the birthdays was because the other lunch games we would play, you guys would always get to be quiz master, and I never got to be the quiz master, so I needed something that was my thing. So I started pulling out, and then they're, they're right there in the paper in the A&E section, mm -hmm. so you just pull that out, and I was like, well, this is going to be my game, so yeah. I wanted to be the quiz master. Right. Well, and also, the we usually play the Isaac Asimov super quiz, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that only takes so long. Yeah. And Ben's not a very good super quiz, quiz no, master. He's not. Are you kidding me? I'm, seriously. But lunch, lunch takes show. a lot longer than the super quiz it's takes. It's true. So, yeah, so you started doing the, the celebrity birthdays. Mm -hmm. I remember when we first started doing the celebrity birthdays, we didn't do it the way we did now. We started with Price is Right rules. Yeah. Yeah, you couldn't, you know, there, it's, it's gone through, you know, many different variations as we you know, developed it. Let's throw out an example okay. well, for the viewers at home. Right, so. you, can be, you be the quiz master. Okay, so uh, let's, uh, one that's going to be on the uh, December episode was uh, Bob Barker. Bob so Barker. we would say I'd say Bob I'd say game show host movie actor Bob Barker and then movie actor Happy, Happy Gilmore, Gilmore. I know. please come on the price, price is wrong Bob <laughs> go 
little Anyway, bit. so you'd say Bob Barker. Yeah. And then you'd go first. And then I'd take a guess and I'd say, you know, he's like 75. But it's the closest without going over right. Right. at this right, stage, right. so I have to be careful. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go 74, so I get yeah. 1 through 74, even though Bob Barker might be older, I'll take my chance. And obviously younger. Bob Barker is older. That would have been a horrible guess, and I probably would have told you that, because Bob <laughs> Barker's turning 87. So right. that would have been point to Eric. But the problem, the problem with that game was that we were... Like, if you would say 74, then I would inevitably either say 75 right. or 1. Right. Do you know because with two of even with three people it didn't really I'll take one dollar Bob. Right. Yeah. right. You might even it go as low as like one day, you know, for real. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, sooner or later we just modified the rules to first person mm -hmm. pick the age and then it was who you know, the second person would guess older or younger. And sometimes we'd even play with like Three people or four people, which was weird. It yeah. doesn't really it, work. It, with it got more difficult, people. so that's why we kind of got rid of other right. people. Which is which is kind of part of the you know part of the whole process of creating the show. Like we didn't mm -hmm. really know we were creating a show mm -hmm. when we were playing it, but you know that's one of those things that if we hadn't figured it out in advance, we would have had to figure it out when we brought it to show. Because mm -hmm. I think when we had the idea to start doing it as a game show, there was never any question that it was just going to be two contestants. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, so you know, you just kind of it's just kind of built and built and built, mm -hmm. and uh, I think what Danica said earlier, one of the big things was the fact that other people walking by would want to join in, and mm -hmm. so then it just kind of right the idea bloomed. Yeah. And I'm not sure which who was the person to first say we should do this as a show, yeah, and who was the first person to take it seriously. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, I remember vividly at least two of our other coworkers walking mm -hmm. by and always wanting to play yeah, anytime yeah, yeah. we were playing this game, and they'd stop, and even right. if they were just refilling their water, they'd mm -hmm. hang out for five minutes and try to, mm -hmm. and they were always really good at it. Right. But the first time we thought about making it as a game show, mm -hmm. I don't remember. It just sort of happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and I don't, you know, I, I don't know about you guys, but I had always wanted to do a game show. Mm -hmm. You know, in, in my position as, you know, kind of the head of the public access department, I'm always looking for new stuff to do, mm -hmm. you know, a new show for everybody to get to work on, both for fun and to learn something. You know, the, the goal of all of these shows that we do for, that I do for Channel 14 is, you know, to instruct. Sure. So, you know, this seemed like a perfect opportunity to, to do that. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's just, uh, it's, I'm sure in, in what you do, it's kind of, making sure it's not only to instruct, but it's fun to work on. And right, so that's exactly. another big thing with this show. It's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. to be it a is a lot of, of fun. And we made the show a little complicated to work on, <laughs> just in, in the fact that there were so many people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because when people were needed, because we were shooting it essentially live. Right, right. And that's something I want to kind of come back to later. But for right now, what the show that we're on right now in focus mm -hmm. is a show that the intro class students work on. You know, this is the show that's designed to be the first show that people work on here at the station. And you know, Howell's kind of the opposite of that. But mm -hmm. one thing that we, that I teach in this class is the idea of pre-planning being mm -hmm. a big deal and taking a lot of time to plan out your show in advance. The, the pre-production phase is one of the most important parts of it. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about what our pre-production was like for how old. Mm, yeah, I mean, uh, for me uh, as the host, uh, it was, um, I mean, some of the biggest parts for me was actually finding all the celebrities, uh, find, r doing a lot of research. For me, it was a lot of research. Uh, finding the celebrities, finding their uh, accurate age, we'll say, as pretty much everyone in Hollywood lies about their age. But and also at, verifying it with a couple different sources. Yeah, and looking at, you know, you don't just look at one place to find, you mm. know, when you're looking at something where you want to make sure you get it right, you don't always just look at one place. So, you know, I, would look, I looked at multiple sources that I found and mm. would uh, compare and, uh, and, and, and not just find an age, but actually find their birth date right. to be able to, and then to then to learn about each of these celebrities. So that took a bunch of time to go through mm -hmm. and learn about all of them. Yeah, there was definitely a lot of research yeah, involved, not so just on your part in getting all the stuff together, yeah. but we use uh, images of the celebrities. Yep. So we had to find not only images of the celebrities, but images of the celebrities that we could have permission to use mm -hmm. because you know, of copyright and everything, and then getting all of that stuff formatted and figured out. But we go ahead. Oh, and planning out how many, how long we wanted each segment to be, right. how many birthdays we want to do in each section, how we wanted mm -hmm. to work that out, what cues we would give to mm -hmm. lead into that, and things like that. Right. Yeah, and we haven't even gone into what the show actually looks like on TV. Well, right. I mean, well, and that's a big thing too. Yeah. We definitely had to sit down and figure out a big thing 
that took us a long time to figure out was what was the set going mm -hmm. to look like. Yeah, and uh, um, you can only do so much planning. And uh, on the first day we're taping it, we had technical difficulty after technical mm -hmm. difficulty. And so uh, you, uh, you plan the best you can, but then mm -hmm. you, you also in TV, you just sometimes have to roll with the punches. Yeah, and I think, and it turned out great. Yeah. It yeah. really did. But yeah, it was a lot of, a lot of research, a lot of just thinking of, okay, well, who's going to be the host? Mm -hmm. And Ben seemed to be a natural for that. Because I wanted to be the quiz master. Quiz, quiz master Ben. <laughs> right, 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 right. And then uh, putting back in as MC and judge. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, we you know, had to get a crew together. We had to find contestants. We had to do all that. We had to figure out prizes. Mm -hmm. That I remember was a big one. Right. Because we didn't. We never really felt. I don't think like we needed to have prizes. Mm -hmm. But we thought it would be fun to have. I mean, what game show doesn't have a prize? Exactly. It's not like, congratulations, you've won Jeopardy. Now go home and be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Be one with your smartness. Yeah. Ken Channings. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Go ahead. And, uh, you know, just like, you know, kind of what you're talking about in the preparation, it's so much, sometimes what's daunting about starting a new show is because it does take so much legwork to actually do one show. Mm -hmm. Like to get one show taped and ready for air takes so much work, but the best part about it is that then you've done it. Mm -hmm. And then your next show and your next show and your next show, you've got a format, you know what you're doing, mm -hmm. you've done that legwork, and then it's just you know those pieces that change every month that, or every two mm -hmm. months, however often you do it, that you have to do the work on. Right. So once you finally get to that place where you've done mm -hmm. something, then it becomes easier. And right. the first show is always the hardest yes. for anything you mm -hmm. could ever do. Yeah, and sometimes the shows will spend a year in development before mm -hmm. it even oh, you know, sure. hits the air. And we spend about a month, <laughs> Yeah, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, yeah, and like you said, uh, however often you're going to do it, it's a show that we try to do about four times a year. We've just done, we, when we're doing, when we're recording this, we've done the first two episodes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Moving forward, we're going to th do three episodes at a time just so that we don't have to do it every month. That right. Instead of doing it 12 times a year, it's a production that we do four times a, a year. A lot less overwhelming. It's a lot less overwhelming, a lot less time on our parts. And the other big thing we decided to do was, yeah, to do it live to tape, was the idea of there would be no post-production or mm -hmm. an incredibly small amount of post-production, that all of the graphics and all of the commercials and everything would be added in in the studio which makes for a much more complex show, but it's really nice because we hadn't had that kind of thing as a public access production for volunteers to work on as a team before. So it kind of adds that next level mm -hmm. to the instruction. Yeah, and once you start shooting, you mm -hmm. know that uh, you either have to make it work mm -hmm. or uh, things are gonna be bad. Right. So when it comes to a live to tape show, you got the benefit of once you're done, you're mm -hmm. absolutely done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the uh, three days beforehand are going to be crazy because you're going right. to realize you forgot to do this, mm -hmm. you forgot to do this, and maybe you didn't make your closing graphics yet, and you mm -hmm. didn't pick your theme music, and it requires all a lot more pre-production on our parts to for that trade-off of not having any posts. Right. Well, we'll talk a little bit more about the show when we come back, but for right now, let's take a look at another clip from How Old. Laura, right. coming to you for talk show host John Stewart. John Stewart. And we have one host. minute left in this round. Talk show host John Stewart. Let's pick up the pace. And the score is tied. <sighs> what do you got for me on John Stewart? 49. T, you don't have to answer because that's four points because she got it. Oh, 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 <laughs> Right at the end of the game, but we'll go quick here. Reality star Nicole Polizzi. Nicole Polizzi. Remember, you do have a birthday present if need be. I only need to use my birthday present. Nicole Polizzi stars in Jersey, Snow Jersey Shore as Snooky, and before the show, she was an aspiring veterinary technician. Nicole Polizzi from Jersey Shore, better known as Snooky. 28. 28 is the guest. Higher or lower for Nicole Polizzi? Nicole Polizzi. I know it's a tough one. Snooky. What do you think for Snooky? Younger. Younger is correct. She's only 24, and folks, that's all the time we have today on How Old, our final tally. Laura, 17 to Terry's 11. And we're back. So again, that was another clip from How Old Celebrity Edition. I'm here with 
Ben Hale, the host, Danica Cleavy, the MC, and Je Peterson. Sort of, yeah. Danica Peterson. It's Unbelievable. It's, it's recent. It's recent. I don't know what's going on. But before the break, we talked a little bit about how, um, how when we were starting to play the game in the lunchroom, how our coworkers would kind of think it was fun and want to play. And so the reception before the show came out was always really good. What, do you, what has the reception been like to your experience since the show? You know, I would say I heard from at least half of our coworkers that they mm -hmm. saw the premiere episode mm -hmm. and uh, found it delightful, basically. Like, it's a really easy game show to watch and mm -hmm. play along, sort of mm -hmm. along the lines of a Wheel mm -hmm. of Fortune or a Jeopardy, more mm -hmm. so than like a, a Press Your Luck if we want to fade back mm -hmm. to the 80s. No whammy, minute. no whammy, stop. Yeah, you can't play that at home. Mm -hmm. Big bucks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go on. Oh, that's all I have. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, in fact, uh, last... Uh, uh, I was sitting ar sitting around our front desk area, and mm -hmm. uh, there's probably um, five or six individuals that uh, a couple of people started watching it on the computer at the front mm -hmm. desk. And by the time it was five minutes in, there's five or six people just yep. standing there watching it. People that walked by mm -hmm. would just get wrapped up in it and couldn't you know couldn't stop watching. And They'd be playing, playing along. along. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, it really um, it seems to be something. I mean, I've uh, I've taken it home and watched it at home, and it just mm -hmm. seems like something that. Uh, is really easy to if you're if you find it you stick mm -hmm. on it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, and uh, one of my favorite things that you weren't there for Ben, but that Danica was, was you guys excluding we, me again. You weren't here. I just wanted is to do the we quizmaster. We were we were copying the show over onto the computer, and our boss came in mm -hmm. to watch a minute of and it. She was going to watch two minutes of it yeah. to see how it went, and she mm -hmm. sat there for the entire episode and was so excited and played along and everyone like, no, no, older, older, She was yelling older. at the TV. That younger? No, he's, he's mm. gotta be like 60. And you know, it's always a good thing when your boss likes what you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> well, it bonus seems, points, it seems like every, It seems like everybody wants to be a contestant on the show. Mm -hmm. It seems like it's going really well. And it is easy to play along with at home. Mm -hmm. And that's, and you know, to that point, it occurred to me when I was getting ready for this show that you guys never get to play the game anymore. No. Especially not each other. Yeah. So now. Oh, are we going to? Yep. Oh, so dang. I'm going to put the two of you against <laughs> each other. You're going down. For a very special how old? How many, how many celebrity questions? Celebrity edition. Uh, how m as many as we have some time for. Do I get to go first? Sure. I'm the lady. Unbelievable. Ben. All but right. You're older. So here we go. How old Don't celebrity edition? <laughs> Danica. Yes. Doctor Phil. Ooh. Dr. Phil, television doctor, Oprah, Fe Oprah, Oprah friend, that's hard to say. Dr. Oprah Phil. disciple. 62. 62. That's then a good guess. Thank you. That's a good guess. Older or younger? But I'm going to go younger. Younger? He is 61. He is 61. Point Told you it was a good guess. Ben. Thank you. Thank Told you. you it was a good guess. Ben. Yes. Salma Hayek. Ooh. Screen beauty. Yeah. Salma Hayek. That's a hard one. That is a hard one. Looks can be deceiving. Looks can be deceiving. That's part, that's kind of part of the game. I'm going to say 52. 52. Younger. She is 43. In your face. Wow. 43. Looks are deceiving. <laughs> so I'll tell you. Wow. Up. You can see why I'm the quiz master. <laughs> as, as I give Danica Keanu Reeves. Ooh, whoa. Keanu whoa. Reeves. Well, Keanu Reeves, he's definitely whoa. older than me. Good call. And I think back, Bill and Ted was probably, what, like 90? I can't give you that information. And he had to be at least like 18 at the time. So he's got to be 41. 41. That's a really good guess. I, I'm really good at this. Yeah. 41. I think he's older. You think he's older? He's 47. Ooh, yeah. Wow. I think 47. Bill and Ted was like 86. I go really right. don't know. I think it was later. I feel like it was like 88 or 89. Mm. But I feel like I was ben, old enough to go to the movies at the time. So. Interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember less when Bill and Ted came out than I do when the Bill and Ted TV show came out on Fox. Mm -hmm. I have no recollection Never. of that. Well, it was something. I was not watching TV. Yes. Though. Teen Heartthrob. Oh, jeez. Jonathan Taylor Thomas. That, oh. uh, that's a great question. J Let's see. Jonathan Taylor Thomas, uh, when he started on Home Improvement, was probably like. Well, his character. Yeah. Was in like the third grade. Yeah, so and Home Improvement would have started in the, I'm going to say like 93, 94-ish, maybe a little later. Um, man, when did that run through? Because that ran quite a few seasons. Jonathan Taylor Thomas, 
I'm going to say he's a little younger than I am. I'm going to say 28. 28. Jonathan Taylor Thomas was one of my very early crushes in elementary school. I thought Still I liked is. him especially because he was short, mm -hmm. which I'm short, mm -hmm. so that was always a thing for me. He's no Wesley Crusher. Well, please. Will no. Wheaton, please. I'm going to say younger, however. You're going to say younger. What did you say? I said 28. He is older. He is what? 30. Oh, no. I thought he might be my age. He is 30. I thought no. he might be. I almost yes. went with 30. Three to one. Unbelievable. As I give you Damon Wayans. <laughs> Damon Wayans. Uh, da Wayans' brother. Yeah. Damon Wayans. May I use my birthday present, please? <laughs> you don't know who Damon Wayans is? I, I do. I just want to get some extra hints. Uh, do you have is, a birthday present? I have not prepared birthday <laughs> presents. Oh, well, you're not really playing da the game then. Well, Damon Wayans is uh, he's a Wayans brother. Mm. Noted. On In Living Color. Mm. Okay. I want to say he was Blank Man in the movie Blank Man. I believe that. But that might have mm. been a different Wayans. I'll accept it. 49. 49. Ooh, younger. Younger, he is 51. Wow. Point Danica. Wow, is he the Point oldest Danica. of the Wayans? I think he's the old. well, he's not the oldest of the Wayans. I mean, Marla's older than Damon, isn't he? Really? Yeah. I, I think they're like a, right around. Well, but anyway, I have to give you, sir, I have to give you, sir, Jeff Foxworthy. Uh, might be a redneck if, if you know how old Jeff, Jeff Foxworthy, Foxworthy is. is. That's, that's a good point. Uh, are you smarter than a Foxworthy? Absolutely. Um... Oh. I'm, I'm really good say at that game show, too. I'm going to say 53. 53? No way! Oh. <laughs> you did it right on for two points. He cheated. For two points, it is five to two. I'm trying really hard. <laughs> as Danica gets pink. Mm. Pink. Songstress. May I get her real name, please? I have no <laughs> idea. Uh, Oh, Pinky you just you just made her um, real name in a name tag for Happy Feet Two in Inside Entertainment. Yeah, it's like Alicia something. Yeah. Great. Yeah. How old is Pink? Pink is thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Not a bad guess, but I'm gonna say older. Thirty-two. Wow. 32. I thought Pink might be pushing forty these days. No. No, but I you can reprieve yourself. I suppose she still is. Yeah. With golfer. Hmm. Uh, drink namesake. Unfair advantage. Arnold, Arnold Palmer. Palmer. Arnold Palmer is. He might get this right. Ben's a sports fiend. He's I claim favoritism. He's no Chai Chai Rodriguez. Chai Chai. 82. 82. Right answer on the money again I for two well, points. Well, that's just giving him too many two fair points, advantage seven ben to points. three. If you hadn't been all, I want to go first, you would have had first True. crack at that. True. Luck of the I, I thought it was just now, polite to let the lady well, go now first. Well, now I'm going to give you the advantage. Okay. By giving you Jimmy Fallon. I know you're a big Ooh. Jimmy Fallon that's fan. That's not true. Fever pitch. I uh, Never seen Big that. fan of Taxi? Nope. Uh, you have the poster in your office. Fever, I, that's fever a pitch. lie. That's fever a pitch? Lie. Can I tell you this, Danica? You, you may tell me. Give me some hints. Gives me a little fast wink sometimes. Well, you cry at all the silliest movies. It's baseball, and he might have a son. If there was a horse in that movie, you would be <laughs> jelly. But Danica, <laughs> yes. how old is Jimmy Fallon? Well, Jimmy, he's We're running low on time. Okay, he's definitely older than me. He's been in show business for a while. He's got to be in his 40s. 44. 44. Younger. Ben. Younger. Younger. He is 37. What? Yeah, 37. Adam West. Ooh. Good one. Batman. From Family Guy. 74. 74. Younger. 83. Yeah, I 83. thought he was up there. We have two more. We'll get through them. Okay. When I ask Danica, Stephen King. Prolific we just author. had him. You know, we Stephen just had King's him in the lunchroom not long ago. Stephen King is from the same hometown as one of my former roommates. That isn't fascinating. Yeah. How old is he? Uh, man. 64. 64. Ben, she has it right on yeah, the money we for just two had him points. We did not ago. just have him because I picked September birthdays. Well, I just, since my birthday is in September. I, just, I remember birthday. we did Thank hit. You. We, mm -hmm. we had no. Stephen King. Benjamin? And couple months Gwyneth ago. Gwyneth Paltrow. Gwyneth. Great um, question. Paltrow. Great question. Star of Contagion. 40. Also, there's something about Mary. 40. I'll give you a hint there. 40. She's in There's Something About Mary? No, that's Cameron Diaz. Yeah. They're pretty much the same person. E no. 
That's, um, a, that's much worse than confusing Renee well Z Zellweger and Reese Witherspoon, and as I did recently. No. Uh, 40, I said 40. She. I think that's a pretty good guess. It's younger. She is younger. She is 39. It but that doesn't. It's a pretty good guess. It didn't matter. That's why I went You have six points. Ben has nine. Ben is the How Old champion. Congratulations. Right. Thank you. I will let you pick a VHS tape. That's always the prize mm. on How Old. Mm. Out Use. of the box of VHS tapes that you donated to be prizes on How Old. Yes. But that's all the time we have yes. this month for In Focus. I want to thank you both for joining me tonight. I hope you had a good time. Yeah. And let's, uh, if we haven't had enough celebrity birthday excitement, let's take a look at one more clip from How Old. Laura, I've got an actor for you. He goes by the name Jamie Foxx. Actor Jamie Foxx. Actor, Jamie Fox. <laughs> hmm. What do you got for me? <laughs> well, <laughs> for Mr. Fox, and that's with two X's. Oh, with two X's, that makes a difference. Mm -hmm. It does. Jamie Fox. It's Jamie. Um, You've already used I your use birthday, birthday present, present so already? I cannot tell you who Jamie Fox oh. is if you do not know. Um. Time's running low. Thirty-seven. 37 on the board, 37 for Jamie Foxx. I'm gonna say he's older. He is older, 44 for Jamie Foxx. But I know time's running low, so we're gonna move on to our last birthday for this round. Golfer, Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods on the board. What do you have for me, Robert? Tiger. I'm gonna go with 42. 42 for Tiger Woods, 40. Two on the board for Tiger Woods. I think Tiger Woods is older. Tiger Woods is, in fact, only 36 years oh. old. Point for, point for <laughs> Robert there. 36 years old. That brings our score five to four. Robert's in front, and that's the end of round one. It's a I'd like to thank Ben and Danica once again for joining us on In Focus. I'd also like to thank my wonderful crew, who, as always, is made up of students taking our free monthly How to Make a TV Show class. If you'd like to sign up for that or any of our other free classes, you can do that by calling or emailing me at 763-231-2803 or eric at northmetrotv.com. Once again, I'm Eric Houston, and thanks for joining us on In Focus. Mm -hmm.